morning, guys. Good morning. I did so much reading this morning, trying to catch up. It's cold in my house. It's always cold in my house. Mm. I'm gonna put on my socks. Maybe if I warm my feet a little bit, maybe that's why I'm still cold. Normally I wake up cold, but by this time when I go live with you guys, I'm not cold anymore. But this morning, not so much. I'm still cold. Um, so anyways, so I did a lot of reading. I had some catching up I had to do with my, um, the UVerse Bible app. My shirt is so on point today. Strong as fuck. Um, so, hey, Laura. So I did a lot of reading in the UVerse Bible app. But the one reading that was just like in my mind today was day 160 in our book. Um, and today was the best, is, the best advice is felt in the heart, not directed from my head. Hey, Debbie, I freaking loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And I wanted to share with you guys because it's talking about how when we try so hard to figure out what's going to happen that we're working overtime to like come to a resolution and when we're doing that we're not trusting the universe and we're not basically trusting um our path and we're trying to manipulate the outcome and we're not trusting the higher plan basically and that's when we like end up self-sabotaging and that's i don't know kind of screwed up when we do that i would say so um, I really love today and it says that when I was reading it my biggest takeaway was what I just shared with you guys how we do it to ourselves and we self-sabotage and we try so hard to manipulate the outcome to be what we want it to be so instead of just letting like quieting everything down quieting our mind stop pushing what we think the end result should be and get to the point where we're quiet enough that we could hear the whispers of our heart that's what's going to lead us and we don't do that as human beings we do not do that <laughs> we sit around and try to push the envelope so to speak and try to make the outcome be what we wanted it to be so then that way we have that sense of accomplishment and we have that feel of that you hit the goal that you were looking to hit, if that makes sense. So I wanted to read a part of it to you guys. It says, chances are your ego, the fearful voice in your head, has been pushing you to work harder and override any inspiration trying to come through from your heart. When you can get out of your own way, we talk about this all the time, we need to get out of our own freaking way. I'm one of them. A lot of times I have to remind myself, like, move, <laughs> get out the way. Um, so when we try to get out, of, when we get out of our own way and let your ego stop running the show, you'll hear the whisper of guidance from your heart. Your heart's wisdom has the capacity to solve the problem in effortless ways. So let your heart lead you and trust the advice that is felt within. <laughs> like, how freaking true is that? And I, I honestly need to read this one over and over and over because I just need to. I need that constant reminder of stop trying to force the outcome. Just listen to your heart. Let your heart guide you on a daily basis and your path will be what the path is supposed to be if you're truly living by your heart. We talk about this all the time. We talk about this on here. I talk about this with a lot of you guys individually on Messenger. Like, we really need to let our hearts guide us because that is our true path. Our true path is not a peer. A peer has been manipulated by so many different things. And, um, you know, it's been darkened by others' opinions or the news or just the world in general and the negativity that comes with our world. So, <clears throat> It's extremely important to just lead with your heart and really listen to it because that, my friends, has not been darkened. Um, not like our minds. It might be, you might feel like it's a little darkened because of your past or things you might have gone through, but I will tell you, it's not as dark as our minds are. I mean, if you're one that watches the news daily just to keep yourself up to date on what's going on with the world, like I do, I really just kind of skim through the news. I try not to fully absorb it, but just so I know what's going on. 
Um, you know, I watch a little bit of the news in the evening with Alex, but it, our world is so negative. All the bad, horrible things that goes on all the time, that gets stuck up in this mind of ours. And we can't let our mind manipulate our heart. We wouldn't let another person manipulate us, so we can't manipulate ourselves, right? Mm. And I have an ice cube. So, I have a mantra for us today. And it says, I release my need to control any situation, and I let my fear subside. I no longer work so hard on making things happen. Instead, I let my heart lead the way. My heart has a message for me, and it's my divine mission to listen to it daily. I freaking love that. I need to take a picture of this and post it. It's awesome because it's so true. We just quiet your mind. And if you can't quiet your mind, ignore it. Tune it out. Like sometimes we tune out our kids or the barking dog, and we can tune out certain everyday noises that we hear all the time. Tune out your mind and just go with the feeling that's in your heart and I think that's where we're all gonna find our peace is by going with our heart and truly living the happiness that's where peace is gonna set in and I know I want peace so I'm all about it so I'm gonna go get myself situated for my workout I just wanted to share that passage with you guys because I thought it was it was a really on point topic and Debbie feels the same. She wrote a great topic. It's a big on point topic because everyone does this. There's not many people that lead with their heart 100%. And if they're telling you they do, I don't know. And maybe it's 97 or 98%. But everybody's mind wants to get involved and be a part of it. Right? So what we need to do is quiet this and turn the volume up here. And... That's where we're going to be walking in the right direction. So hopefully I will see a lot of you walking beside me in that right direction. Um, because, I mean, who wants to go in the wrong one, right? So have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, guys. I'm going to go get my workout done. Um, I have a few hours of work today at the salon. And then I'll have the afternoon here with the kiddos. Um, having a little family time. I have missed that. I've been working a lot. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And I'll see you later. Have a good one.